Montessori and traditional, which is what everything else is, is a differentiation based on educational philosophy. In a, in a Montessori environment, the teacher demonstrates how the lesson is to be used. The children decide what they want to work on, so their natural instincts will take them where they want to go. All discipline is internal, but the point of a Montessori education is the social and emotional preparation of the adult. Be responsible adults, being able to read people's emotions and know how properly to react. That's called emotional intelligence, and that's what we do. COVID came, and it came to Kershaw County first. Right? At one point, there were 15 cases in the state, and they were all right here in Kershaw County. Everybody said unprecedented. No experience with anything like this. We know nothing about it. Well, I did, because I ran a Montessori school in Beijing during SARS. Um, I put together a, uh, I called it a reentry working group. I had them think through how are we going to do what we, we now call Montessori at a distance. And then <clears throat> the Charter Institute informed me that my plan met the requirements of the Charter Institute's guidance. So I did several surveys of parents and I found out in those surveys that a little over half wanted us to be back in school. We laid out the plan to allow four options, all day on campus, morning only on campus, afternoon only on campus, and at home all day. I realized that we could do safe distance because it was only a little over half who wanted on campus. That solved my problem. I know that I've done everything to ensure the health and safety of the staff and faculty and students and our community as a whole. We have asked that the parents monitor their children for symptoms. When the parents drop their children off in the mornings, in the car we check the student's temperature. We uh, have installed automatic hand sanitizing stations. We uh, implement face masks. Dr. Moncure hired two staff members. Their sole role is to sanitize anything that's a frequently touched surface. We have to do all of these things consistently, steadily, and committedly. Because we knew we had to keep kind of a social distance, we knew that if they were going to work close together, they would need to have their mask on. And then if they were going to be within that social distance, they could take the mask off. The more that they practice those things, the more it becomes second nature. So this isn't that much different, other than the fact that we are required to wear masks. Being that we have that smaller classroom size, we're able to keep things cleaner, um, do more social distancing, ensure that we have all those morning temp checks done, just things like that because we're smaller and more personable. Montessori children tend to be self-directed. We want them to understand why they're doing something. Generally speaking, children want to do the right thing. When we explain to them that you need to wear a mask in order to protect yourself and to make sure that your parents don't get it if you come home with it, Okay, they go, okay. And again, we don't put any fear into that. We put a lot of honesty into that, like why are we doing this? And we give explanation. And I feel like if we give that explanation, there is very little concern and we go throughout our day and we do all the things that we need to do and we continue to learn. This pandemic is impactful to everyone and it, it raises our anxieties. With Montessori, we try to educate the whole child and I think nourishing their social and emotional learning is important. The children will adapt and are actually more resilient in some cases than adults can be. And as long as you maintain peace and serenity and confidence throughout this situation, I feel as though they will too.